Katie, you are in the you were in the killing. Can you tell me a little bit about your character? My character was Rosie Larson, who uh, met a little bit of an untimely end in the trunk of a car, and then a uh, massive and terrifying investigation ensued. And uh, the the whole show was based on what happened to your character. What does that feel like? I didn't know it was going to happen until it happened. So I had a thousand mini heart attacks over the course of two years whenever they introduced something new and my face was on it or it was like this super huge plot point and I had to go, oh yeah, no, I knew they were going to do that. That's great. That's, that's fine. That's my idea. So how often do you get a script? Oh, wow. Uh, in the beginning, I got a lot and then it became uh, top secret and by the end of the second season, they would just call me and say, come to work. And is I, that so that you don't tell too much when you're doing interviews? I think that they basically just tried to keep everybody in the dark as much as possible so that it would be really fresh and really exciting when it happened. Um, but I think they were about a step away from blindfolding me and putting me in the back of the car on the way to work every day. It's a little bit disturbing. Ah, it was a disturbing show. It was a little bit, but it was a great one. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. And are you currently working on something? I am. I'm actually moving to New York uh, next Friday to shoot The Carrie Diaries for The CW. Which are you excited for the move? Uh, oh my god. I'll be excited once I get there and put my feet up. Right now I'm in panic. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about Carrie Diaries? The Carrie Diaries is the prequel to Sex and the City. So it's Carrie in the 80s, living in Connecticut and going through high school. Now, were you a big fan of Sex and the City growing up? I had seen, it's actually funny, I saw the first season about two weeks before I got the audition. So I was so psyched, because I had had nothing to do with it before. And when you got the audition, how did you know that, that you were ready for this part? Um, I actually went in for a different part, and then they asked me to come back, and I read the script in the waiting room, and this girl was just a total sass bot, like an attitude machine, and I went, you know what? This might work. This might work. Oh, so you're you're obviously a complete natural. You're just able to fly by the seat of your pants and, and do what's needed of you. Can I bring you everywhere so that you can tell people that? I would love that. <laughs> just walk around with me. We'll get some hors d'oeuvres. We can bother Richard Harmon. And, uh, Sounds like an all right. It'll work. <laughs> Thank you so much for your Thanks time. Thanks a lot. Pleasure meeting you.